हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेशन नंबर टू ऑफ लेसन नंबर फोर मटेरियल्स मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द लेसन वेर वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द सम ऑफ द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स सच एज मेलेबिलिटी हाउ द मेटल शोज द मेलेबिलिटी एंड हाउ कैन वी आइडेंटिफाई द मेटल एंड हाउ कैन वी आइडेंटिफाई द नॉन मेटल्स ओके to understand the next physical property we are going to conduct activity number 4.2 on the page number 45 see you can see the figure 4.2 electric tester recall how to make an electric circuit to test whether electricity can pass through an object or not figure 4.2 shows the electric tester how to construct how to design it you might have performed the activity with the various objects in class 6 now repeat the activity with the metals mentioned in the table 4.3 observe and group these objects or material into good conductors and poor conductors table 4.3 shows electrical conductivity of materials actually for making the electrical tester you will require the cell then you will require the electric wire nail and bulb okay in place of nail you have to replace the other objects or material which want to you which we want to test that material you have to keep in the place of nail okay now actually we have performed it or we have discussed about this in the previous classes now we are going to repeat it see the table they have given here the first column is for the serial number 1 2 3 4 materials that we have taken iron rod or nail sulfur coal piece and copper wire then when we connect the iron nail if that time the bulb glows we can tell the iron nail or iron rod is a good conductor in place of iron nail we have to keep a sulfur and if bulb glows it's a good conductor otherwise it's a poor conductor we have to repeat it with the coal piece if the bulb glows it's a good conductor if bulb will not glow then it will be the what it will be it will be the poor conductor next copper wire in place of copper wire we have to place the in the place of the nail we have to place the copper wire and we have to check the bulb if the bulb will glow it's a good conductor otherwise it's a poor conductor now you this you can fill by your idea okay just so simply good conductor and poor conductor you observe that iron rod nail and copper wire are good conductors see here they have discussed about the answer of this table out of four iron nail rod and copper wire these are the actually good conductors while rolled sulfur piece and coal piece are poor conductors means coal piece and rolled sulfur they are the poor conductors of oh, the meaning of recalling our experiences and then of this activity was to show that metals are good conductors of heat and electricity we learn in class 6 in previous activity that we have seen in the last session that is 4.1 and the recent activity that is 4.2 from this we can understand that metal show some physical properties like as a malleability and from activity 4.2 we can understand metal show another property that is the conductivity that metals are good conductor of heat and electricity okay so this is the one of the experience for us to understand what is the poor conductor what is the good conductor where do you want find the use of aluminum and copper wire have you seen wires of coal definitely not now as you are in home we know that our all electrical fitting is made from copper wires and aluminum wires so copper and aluminum wires are very very important for the electrical passing activities the property of metal by which it can be drawn into wires called ductility see here we have got one more term one more definition 
it's about the ductility the property of metal by which it can be drawn into wires the property of metal by which it can be drawn into wires is called ductility means if the metal is able to give the wire or if we are able to draw on the wire from the metal then that property can be called as the ductility have you ever noticed the difference in the sound on dropping an iron sheet a plate a metal coin and a piece of coal on the floor if not you can try it now whenever we drop something on the floor such as iron sheet iron plate or a metal coin or a piece of coal at that time what you can observe we can observe that particular objects makes a different sound if you compare the coal and if you compare the iron plate the sound produced in both the cases will be different okay so we are going to understand this you can try this at your home to understand the difference between falling of coal and falling of the metal coin okay or metal sheet do you note in difference in the sound produced now if you try then it will be very better to understand so whenever it will fall is there any difference between the sound what do you think have you seen wooden base in temples can you give a reason behind it see students now we are on the page number 46 i just know that there's a lots of importance for the science because there are many curious questions available and many questions are there and for that purpose if you want to answer we have to be very curious okay we, we should be very curious to know the answers then only we can understand and learn the science with a lot of interest okay see whenever we go in the temple whatever the bells are available that bells are made of metals not of wooden or not of plastic do you know what's the reason behind it the sound produced by metal is very different when the bell if it is bell is made up of the plastic or wooden so what's the reason we are going to discuss it okay in detail the things made of metals produce a ringing sound when they struck hard the things made of metals produce a ringing sound when struck hard if the bell is made up of metal then it produces the ringing sound okay suppose you have two boxes similar in appearance one made of wood and the other of metal can you tell which box is made of metal by striking both the boxes suppose two boxes are provided to you both are look same but one is made up of wood and second is made up of metal so to understand it can you tell uh, the which is a wooden wooden box or which is the metal box just by striking yes if you strike it will show the different different kinds of the sound so we can understand which one is made up of metal and which one is made up of wood since metal produce ringing sound they are said to be sonorous see one more property of metal one more physical property that is sonorous as the metal produce ringing sound means metals provide metals produce the ringing sound so they have the characteristic such as sonorous the materials other than metals are not sonorous means sonorous property is only limited for the metals sonorous property is limited for the metals other materials do not produce the characteristic called as sonorous it do not produce the ringing sound after performing the above activities we can say that some materials are hard lustrous malleable ductile sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity we have conducted various tests we have discussed about activities and from the activities and test we came to know some materials are hard lustrous malleable ductile sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity the materials which generally possess these properties are called metals now if you want to know what is the metal or if what is the non metal then we should have some criteria to decide that it is metal 
it is non metal or this is the metal this is non metal how can we decide for decision or to know about this actually the the material should have the characteristic property that now i have only i have discussed the material which generally possess these properties are called metals the examples of metal they are also given here iron copper aluminium calcium magnesium etc see examples of metal they have given here iron copper aluminium calcium magnesium etc in contrast materials like coal and sulfur are soft and dull in appearance if we compare now only just i told that about the metals other met, uh, other substances of materials such as coal and sulfur they are soft and dull in appearance and metal is shiny okay it's hard also materials like coal and sulfur are soft and dull in appearance they break down into powder mass on tapping with a hammer if you tap the material such as coal or sulfur with the hammer then it can be break down into powdery mass they are not sonorous and are poor conductors of heat electricity non metals such as sulfur or coal they do not produce the ringing sound so they are not sonorous also they are the poor conductors of heat electricity these materials are called non metals means we can understand uh, the materials shows characteristics property required for the metals they are the metals and the material which do not show the characteristic property required for the non metal they are the non metals now what are the properties now we have discussed okay it's a list of the characteristic properties to understand the given substance is a metal or non metal now the examples of non metals the examples of non metals are sulfur then carbon oxygen phosphorus etc let me repeat this sulfur carbon oxygen phosphorus etc okay so these are the examples of non metals here you can uh, actually prepare the question you can frame the question distinguish between metals and non metals so about the metals metals so the unique characteristics non metals so the unique unique characteristics or you can also write down definition for this write down the definitions on both the sides is our first difference and second difference will be of examples okay so in this way you can frame the questions also you can write also the definitions okay now very interesting part that is metals like sodium and potassium are soft and can be cut with a knife just now we have discussed that metals are hard and shiny but somewhere Uh, we we feel that um, some metals uh, like sodium and potassium they are soft and they can be cut with knife means i can say here uh, in short to understand or to decide whether the given substance or material is a metal or non metal we cannot say that they they must show all the characteristics required for the metals okay somewhere the uh, characteristics are different but if they possess some of them the characteristics then also it can be considered as the metals okay now what is the criteria required for that we are going to discuss it afterward metals like sodium and potassium are soft and can be cut in with the knife a very interesting one mercury is the only metal which is found in liquid state at room temperature see it's a shocking one mercury is also metal but mercury is found as it is found in liquid state it's only one of the exception i can say that only one metal that found in liquid state at the room temperature okay so these are the uh, we can say exceptions for the properties of the metals means sodium and potassium they are soft and can be cut with the knife and mercury is the only metal which found only in the states uh, i can say only in the liquid state at the room temperature okay okay uh, today we have discussed about uh, one of the physical characteristic property of the metals such as uh, very important that is electrical conductivity of materials that is the given uh, material is a good conductor or bad conductor or good conductor or poor conductor also we have seen what is mean by ductility 
द इम्पोर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द मेटल दैट इज सोनोरस एंड देन वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स एंड देयर रिस्पेक्टिव एग्जाम्पल्स ओके ट्राई टू फ्रेम द क्वेश्चन राइट द आंसर्स द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन थैंक यू